Hello everyone and welcome back to the Spearhead cast with me Matt. Welcome to a TV2 on Dusseldorf on the Western Front. A comedy heroes to vanilla map. Well, I think it was added with the British update. Let's go through the players. Represent the Allies. We have a combined force of the British and United States with garlic bread. Spearheading with Royal Guard Regiment for the British Commonwealth. With anvil specialization. And we have the common call as Ranger Company for the United States. And we have two very uh, elite, I would say. Although Royal Guy is not really elite all the time, but Royal Guy is still pretty damn good. So that's going to be fascinating. Representative the Germans defending Dusseldorf. We have Lachs Unter Commander, without a command shit for the Wehrmacht. And F 3181 going straight at the gate with Fallschirmjäger Division and going for Fallschirm Pioneers. So they're going for a Luftwaffe build again. I like to see that. I appreciate people using the unique elements you have available to if you're playing as like Luftwaffe or Airborne stuff. And really make you play very differently early on. And the, and the Fallschirm Pioneers do, does mean you don't have to build the first tier building immediately. I think you can even get the Jaegers from the first from the HQ once you get like enough command points, if I remember correctly. So you're not in rush to build up your base as Fallschirm Jäger Division, basically. Americans have rushed up to take the train station though with some re echelon. That'll delay the, um, the Germans a little bit. Give the Americans some time to get into positions. Well, the British have somewhat rushed up here too without securing their back line. They're gonna engage the pioneers here. Now rifle sections are very tough. They'll probably get a lot of job done unless the Vogue's Grenadiers can get on a good, good flank here. And we have double Vogue's Grenadiers actually, no uh, Grenadiers at the moment. And both Grenadiers do, do basically the same thing as Grenadiers with their basic loadout, so they just don't have these rifle grenades and such. They have some more close range oriented abilities like smoke grenades, rifle grenades and gun flashes. Looks like the British are pulling back, unless they might be grenaded. You know, they have fighting fights going up here. Fashion Pioneers being mowed down by American riflemen, but a grenade goes out. Allowing the Fashion Pioneers to win that engagement barely. Based on a still hold up in the train station. Americans are getting some more units up to the train station though. And some Americans here trying to flank, killing the... Trying to kill the Fashion Pioneer. He gets out though. And we we'll have fights going on here. Vogue's going to gonna lose these sabers. Raiders have very good use of their bold actions, by the way. Raiders troops are a little bit more expensive than any other faction because they are just that good. Americans are going to be able to use a lot of them high cover here. Like, get around. Lots of heavy cover to utilize. Get inside the building there. Fashion Pioneers might be in trouble, but we are seeing the Luftwaffe Jaegers coming out. Yes, and they do come from the HQ building, so I was correct. They're right with Gear 43, so they're actually the perfect urban choice against Americans, I feel, because they have the same kind of semi automatic firepower as their base loadout. Pioneers here might be in trouble, though. Yep, getting mowed down in seconds. Oh, one flash, though, from, the, from a single Vogue screen here alive there. You know, I have to work hard to get out, uh, out alive, though, if you can even manage that. Here we are. He's gonna have to wait. Yeah, he could technically go this way around, but that might still be risky. We have a machine gun coming up here at MG42. Well, the Americans are pushing far up into their part of the city. But here comes the Jaegers from the Luftwaffe. Not Falschim Jaegers, mind you, just Jaegers. Not sure that Vox Grenadier is doing. Yeah, one shot, then he's down. Yeah, seeing MP4 just being loaded out on the Volkswagen yes now, and still no commander choice, so I guess they're waiting to decide what they go. Bashim forces are moving about though. Probably could get some under with MP40s in this kind of environment. To supplement the KVR 43s. That's my opinion though. Oh, Flammenwerfer on the Pioneers, good choice. But it's gonna be very hard if they're clumped up. Need to spread on use the use the cover. And he's rushing up. Oh, but they're doing a little bit wrong, but I did manage to get the Americans out of the building. And then they run into the building themselves. Killing one American squad. But those pioneers have to get out of there. 
Yeah, that's what I mean, he fully kills it up. But the Jaegers can chase down the Rifle pretty efficiently with their Gewehr 43s. Southern flank, we... Oh, we have a command choice. I think that's Panzer. Oh, that's Straff. So we have uh, Wehrmacht Straff and Wehrmacht Luftwaffe. Very fascinating choice. Means they don't have a lot of tank options late game. But I think Straff is definitely a decent choice. Bring carrier here for the Commonwealth. And the Leutnant probably has to get out of there. You know, the Luftwaffe is slowly trying to push him to the American side. Which is in the cover now themselves pretty well. Falschimiega has been called in elite shock troops now available to Luftwaffe. Can be equipped with FT-42s, which is pretty damn nuts as a weapon. Gewehr 43s and their Sturmgewehr. And the squad leaders doing a good job here against the Americans. Rangers called in though. Elite squads available to Ranger Company. As the name would imply. Some of the best infantry in the United States Army, I believe. I can still hold the train station, but for how long? Those of a jeep here with a 50 cal are able to the ranger company. Ooh, these guys don't only have a throwable AT grenade, which they could get close enough to use, but 50 cal most of them down. There's a hold up down here with a Vickers K and some of their universal carrier, as well as some lieutenant here for the British. D42 set up behind this well enclosure. Oh, we have some Storm Pioneers here, a unique squad available to Wehrmacht Straff, being equipped with PPS Aegis and MP40s. So, very good for urban and combat. F-42 is being equipped here on the Falschim Jägers, probably gonna get some MP40s as well, I'd imagine. Perhaps even the Eintas Flammenwerfer, which we rarely see. Which is essentially a date war German. Um, one-time use flamethrower, basically. But FG-42s will so definitely improve the combat capabilities of the squad. They yes, need to get in the right positions. Mine trying to be late here by the reaction on. 30 cal set up inside the building here for the United States. They're being suppressed by the 30 cal and the jeep, so those fashion makers have to get out of there. On the southern flank, we just have a lot more firefights going on here. Thanks to Anvil and being guard, the rifle sections now have one extra man, which is a pretty big deal, by the way. One extra British soldier with a bold action is, can do a lot of t a lot of damage. Doom Pioneers have to run because of the long range engagement. We're just trying to flank here. But they have to pull out after seeing the flamethrower. And you still want to chase that, I feel. And the 15 equipped on the Jaegers to make them more of a stationary defensive unit. Bunga, uh, mod, well, simple bunga being established here by the Pioneers. Probably going to give an energy for a 2 upgrade, I imagine. Pack arriving as well for the Straff. Pack 40. 2 to 1 here, becoming a 2 to 2 for the Luftwaffe. What the British is doing? Uh, not much. And the uh, Americans are not doing too much either yet. That jeep has to move around though to try and intercept another German force, but has to be cautious. As when this becomes a two-two-two, it's going to be a lot more lethal. But the fifty Celts can shoot through the German light vehicles. Now it's about to become a 2 2 2, so it's gonna have an auto cannon. So far, it looks like it's a pretty even match. There's not gonna be a lot of cover though for the 2 2 2 to have to break through with its auto cannon. Ooh, very, very cheeky there with the, with the Jeep, and too risky, I feel. Yeah, getting mowed out by the, by the MT 15. You also have a Leutnant from the Luftwaffe here. And some fashion pioneers at the center as well to support. Americans are taking a lot of the casualties here. Yes, 
the Germans might be able to do something here, but the Americans have turned the train station into a board operating boat. Board operating base, an FOB, you could say. You know, the British have called in the Stuart. Stuart light tank available to the British here, yeah? an American lend lease weapon. But it's used a lot of American equipment, actually. Makes a lot of sense, I suppose. America did kind of make themselves the... The... What were they called? The arsenal of democracy? Let's see, 2-2-2 two, two, two is... Oh, I tell you, been calling it on the train station. But they are being suppressed, though. 2-2 two, two getting some shots in. Just gonna reveal itself shortly, I feel. I tell you, we almost called in. Let's see if that'll destroy the train station. Yeah, and the train station is on fire, neutralizing it. That's gonna give the Germans the opening they needed up here, so the Luftwaffe is gonna take advantage of it. Using the 222 for cover, good choice. Panzer 4F1 arriving as well for the Luftwaffe. And while we have an engagement down here with the Stuart, trying to engage with the Wehrmacht troops. And before this on the Volkswagen, yes, it's definitely gonna help. Panzer Fausting the Stuarts. Oh, still got out of range. Will the firefight continue there? Continues up here. It looks like one Ranger squad has got the bazooka. Probably aiming to take out the 2 2 2. Need to be cautious though. They need to get in a very good position for this. Need to act fast. Especially with the flight of flamethrower nearby. Too late. Playing for a burn, the Rangers to a crisp. And Panzer 4 F1 has arrived. Do it available to the United States as well. Ooh, 2 to 2 takes out the machine gun. Well, the British have pushed back the little German incursion. The Vickers fighting position going up there. And well, the fighting for the train station continues, or what's left of it. Stuart got a good shot on the 2 2 2. But it gets taken out by the Panzer IV F1. I think the Americans are going to need a Sherman to beat that F1. At least in a frontal engagement. They do have an after tank team, but I don't think that's going to suffice at the moment. Basically, it's a suicide job for many uh, in the United States infantry. And our Rockman squad is definitely trying to work as a distraction, but I don't think it's going to last for long. Are they going to try and long range it? That's, like, that's going to be very risky. Yeah, they missed. You generally want to do it on the flank of a tank if you can. Because they need a wide space to have, a, to have an easy target to hit, I feel. And the longest range is not going to be an easy, easy thing, especially on the fire. That's a lot of pressure on the troops doing it, as you can see. Like, infantry tactics against tanks is not the easiest thing to do. Oh, we have German military police called in, the, the Katanhuna. Unique uh, officer squad available to you if you're playing as Wehrmachtstraff. Well, the Luftwaffe is getting some territory here. F1 is clearing out the anti infantry mines, evidently. Minefield is still present, though. But the Fashmi, I guess, will be able to secure the point. Yeah, I suppose it's a cheap way of clearing out a minefield, but... Eh. Yeah, they decided that they could do much to a tank. Stone Pioneers here trying to engage with the British, but it's British to... Oh, again, I, be I believe. Like, it's a brave attempt there from the Storm Pioneers. Baldadad, no. Killing the officer! And 
Joseph even set up a 4 HQ here. And say F140 out of Wehrmacht player. Ready to set up a mortar pit and a forward assembly. Also for Captain the rank for the British. And we have a little bit of engagement here. Oh, they have a Piet. Piet is actually surprisingly decent if you can get a shot on the tank. But they got wiped out there because they were on the open. Where is AC gun takes out the, the Panzer IV though? You know, the other flank, the Americans are still trying to deal with this Panzer IV and the Luftwaffe troops. That is a killing field though. It's a narrow way you can just walk in and get shot up. Americans dug in around here. But the Falschim Jägers are providing a lot of accurate firepower over range. Now we have the Jägers trying to get some more shots in as well. So they have a long firefight building up here. I feel the Germans should win that thanks to the Falschim Jägers, but it's hard to say. The Americans are pulling back and sitting up on a unit. The two is trying to make its way up. Now that the bazooka is no longer uh, present, they do, they do have a 57 though. Yeah, 22 is getting some shots in now. Ooh, that as a tank team has to be very cautious. Ooh, they might get mowed down if they go off through that way. Oh, but the Bazooka managed to get his shot off and killing the 2 2 2. I'll help the Americans. BAR loaded here on the rifleman and BAR on the re echelon. And so F1 making his, make his push up. High explosive almost killing that rifleman squad. You know, the British and the Wehrmacht on the other flank is having a little bit of a standoff still. But the Americans do have a half track arriving with some more rangers, which they can reinforce from. They can reinforce with the half track. And I think it gets experience from troop. Oh, Ranger Cam going up. Pretty good choice. Artillery calling here by the British. Oh, pretty good artillery strike at that. Destroying the pack and an officer, I believe. Baby Tiger called in. Unique Lux variant available to Wehrmacht's tough. Essentially, it's a Lux with a very high amount of front armor. Nicknamed the Baby Tiger. Not sure why it had that nickname, but I suppose it's because it was a bitch to fight. Despite being a small tank. Or oh, it's just German naming conventions. I'm not good at German naming conventions in all honesty. So the Germans are getting some more Falschmeagers on the field, including a machine gun team. Unix squad available to them to Falschmeagers. That's essentially just a mobile MG42 2 squad. Baby Tiger is just keeping an eye on the front line here. So the fight up here for the train station continues. Falsch Pioneer is definitely gonna get overrun there. They need to probably. Oh, ammo rack on the Panzer 4 F1. That's gonna be an opening the Americans were needing. And now the Americans pushing over their BARs. Bonga has been set up here, but it's not being upgraded yet with a machine gun. We do have a DMD42 team here. I don't see the squad too often, but I believe they're actually very accurate MG42 compared to most others. So like them being a mobile MG42 team is surprisingly powerful. At least from what I know. If they become veteran, they can... Oh, they actually have their weapons inventory full. Huh. Oh, it's because they have two MG42s, right, because you can upgrade with a second one. Huh. Not oh, fascinating. You know, the German Storm Pioneers managed to push up a little bit further here. And clearing up more of the British forces. The British are starting to suffer some losses here. They are bringing up a heavy mortar though. 
Flammen Werfer on the uh, Volk's Grenadier Leutnant, which is a upgrade for him if you're playing as tough. And up here, the fighting also continues in the streets. Artillery going in on the American positions. Forcing them back. So many have been pushed back here. But so far, it looks like the fight is still somewhat even, but the Germans have taken the upper hand map wise. The fight should make it definitely going to be very hard to deal with. Oh, that's actually going to be good for the Americans. They do have that, that, they do have that Jeep there, and the 50 caliber is che chewing through them. Maybe more to silence the land with its shells, alongside the mortar pits. He can set up here. Oh, that's a Luftwaffe camp actually set up by the uh, by Shimiegas. Allow him to airdrop in supplies and get some new units on the front line. Much like the Ranger camp, the, uh, Ranger camp here. German Mark V coming out for the British. Another American lend lease weapon. Oh, heavy mortar available to the Germans as well, which is a unique weapon to them if you have, they're playing as stuff. It's basically the, uh, the Russian heavy mortar, exactly copied, because the Germans actually like to copy a lot of stuff they found, especially on the Eastern Front. Because the Germans were so impressed by the Soviet heavy mortar, basically. And it's already taken out the British heavy mortar. So that's going to do its job and really make the British have to be on the offensive instead of just sitting to be shelter to death. Also, we have a Falschmjäger officer being called in. A Stabsville Webel, alongside a Panzer 4 h So a veteran, it's essentially a five-man officer squad for the Luftwaffe that can beat your Falschmjägers effectively. Americans have recruited that AT gun. And a German heavy mortars are setting up in counter barrage, I feel. Yep, to try and take out the mortar pit, I imagine. Yep, clearing out there. The enemy have destroyed a forward emplacement. Baby Tiger takes out the steward. And with some pack support, I suppose. But a sure Mark V is on the field here. Oh, but the Baby Tiger got a shot there from the uh, British 7-pounder. A 6-pounder, I think, actually. This is seven there, seven CWT. I'm not good at the British naming conventions. British uh, German troops have pushed very far up, almost able to cut off uh, the Allies completely. I think the Allies have to push up their game or step up their game, rather. Right and Luftwaffe has pretty good in urban environments. I don't think the Rangers can do much here. And they mean suppressed. And the Luftwaffe troops are just all over the all over the city at this point. There's a staff still people supporting him too. It's gonna buff them a fair amount, I believe. I think he only buffs Falschmiegers though. Yeah, he only buffs Falschmiegers. Not the Luftwaffe troops actually, only the Falschi makers themselves. But the Allies are taking heavy losses. The British are definitely being shelled to hell by the heavy mortars here provided by the Staff Commander. Able to provide a lot of pressure to the battlefield. Even have a Halfman called in to supervise the front line. But a range of position being about to be flanked and overrun by the Falschmiegers. And the Allies pull out. It looks like the Germans managed to hold this part of the city. I'll see you on the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.